Good morning, Ron Destiny, and welcome back to our Sunday Worship service. We are on week two of our love series, and I just cannot wait to get into what we're talking about today. But before we get there, okay, we got to pray open. Now, who is we? We are Bronx Bethany, a spiritual community of love, where there is a place for absolutely everyone. And we here at Bronx Bethany are so happy to see you. All right? Now, before we get into it, we're going to open up with a word of prayer and we're going to get into worship. So feel free to get comfortable. Take off your shoes, take off your wig, do what you got to do, okay? okay? Here we go. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much for waking up. God, I thank you for a brand new day. God, I thank you that we are in spring, God. And I'm just so excited for everything that you're going to do with us in our lives in this season. God, I pray over today's message, today's lesson. I just pray that we will be able to receive what you are trying to say to us, God. Lord, I pray over our time of worship that you will be pleased with our worship. And Lord, I just pray for everyone who hasn't yet tuned in but are on their way, God, that they will receive a blessing from tuning in today. We pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all ready? Let's get to worshiping.
Today, what we're focusing on is the fact that God's love is immeasurable. Can you say that word? Say immeasurable. Mm -hmm. Yes. See, we cannot measure how much God loves us. There's no way to measure it, right? So that begs the question, what does it mean to measure? Hmm. That's what we're going to learn by making some cupcakes today, okay? So we have our cake mix. See, I like to use regular cake mix, not cupcake mix, because you get more cupcakes out of it. <clears throat> yes, you do. I suppose you're right. And we're gonna follow the instructions and measure everything that the instructions tell us to do, right? So just like in the Bible, the Bible will tell us certain things to do, like let's say for the 10 commandments where it says thou shall not lie and thou shall not bear fault witness and all the things that it says, right? So the Bible is basic instructions before leaving earth, right? So we're gonna follow these instructions as we talk about following the instructions um, that the Bible gives us, right? So these instructions say, first we gotta pour the flour in here and then it says to pour one cup of water right 
So we're gonna take our measuring cup. We're gonna fill it up, fill me up. Fill I overflow. I wanna run over. How many of you guys know that the Lord's love overflows? Hello, somebody. Just like we are overflowing this water into the cake mix. Fill me up till I overflow. All right, so the next thing, the next measurement. So measure really just means to put the right amount, right? So you're gonna take out of a large, a larger amount. So there was a lot of water in here and I measured only one cup. So the rest of this is left over because I only needed one cup. So I measured it and put it in there. Now the next instruction is half a cup of oil. So we have our oil and we're gonna measure, we're gonna take a little bit out of the big amount and we're gonna pour it. Fill me up till I overflow. See, now we've measured a half cup and we're pouring it in here. Now, what are some of the things that we can use to try and measure God's love? So maybe we can think about the things that God does for us, like waking us up every day. You know how every time we open up, sometimes I'll say, dear Jesus, thank you for waking us up today. That's something that can help us measure God's love, right? Because waking us up is only a little bit of the large amount of things he does to show us that he loves us, right? The next instruction here is to add three eggs. So we have one. We have two. And we have three. So I took only three eggs out of the 12 that I have because it doesn't need all of the eggs. So I had to measure three out of 12. And the next thing to do is the fun part. We get to mix it up. So we're gonna do it real quick. Now we have a large amount of batter, right? And we're gonna take these cupcake cups. We're gonna put them in here. How many of you love baking? Alrighty, so we have our cupcakes in the pan and we're gonna put them in the oven. Then we're gonna talk a little bit more about the love of God. Here we go. Ooh la la. So while we wait for the cupcakes to bake, after we measured all of the things that, um, all of the things that we put in there. Now we're gonna bake God's love and we're gonna try to measure God's love. So we're gonna take these pieces of paper and we're gonna write down some of the things that we talked about. So um, last week we talked about how love is patient, it's kind, um, what else did it say? It does not boast. Okay, so we're gonna 
use this to try and measure God's love. Okay, what else? God wakes us up. Um, what else is that? God, mm, God answers our prayers. Remember last week we learned the definition of love is to keep something safe that we care about. So God keeps us safe. Okay, we can try and use that to measure God's love. It's going in the bowl. Let's see. We have, what else? <laughs> All right, so we have put a whole bunch of things that I believe is gonna help us bake God's love, right? So let's mix it up. Mm-hmm, we're gonna mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. There I go, oh wait, <laughs> he's not selfish, that's in there too, okay. Gotta make sure we get all of God's love mixed up, okay? Now we're gonna pour it into the baking pan. Awesome! And now we're gonna try and bake God's love. We measured everything that we could think of that's gonna help us understand God's love. So let's put that in the oven. All right, now while we wait for that to bake, let's go on to the Bible and see what it says. It says in 1 John 4, 10 to 11, read it with me. True love is God's love for us, not our love for God. What does that mean? That means no matter how much we love God, it's still not able to compare to how much God loves us. We cannot measure. We cannot fit it in a cup. We cannot fit it in a bowl. We cannot measure how much God loves us, right? God sent his son to die in our place to take away our sins. God loves us so much that he was able to sacrifice his self his son, right? His only son for us. Now who knows a love like that? That is how much God loves us, dear friends. God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son, right? To die for us. So what, what does it look like for us to love God? We can measure it in some senses, right? Just like we can measure for the cupcakes, but when it comes to God's love for us, there's no way for us to measure it. Let's check on those cupcakes. Get that icing on there. Okay. Ah. And look at that. We measured all of the ingredients for the cupcakes and what did we get? Cupcakes, see this makes sense, right? We put the oil, the eggs, we put the water, we put the flour. And now we have some beautiful cupcakes. Now let's check how God's love baked, okay? Ooh, this looks good. Oh boy. Oh my, my, my. This is God's love all baked up. Now we put as much as we could into the bowl. We put as many things as we could think of, his patience, his kindness, and he keeps us safe that, you know, he answers our praise and all the other things that we put in there. But guess what? No matter all of the stuff that we put in there, that we try to justify and think about to try and measure God's love, there is more. There is no way that we can measure it because God sent his son to die in our place to take away our sins. We cannot measure what that means. True love 
is God's love for us. And no matter how many times he comes through for us, no matter how many times he answers the prayer, no matter how many great things he does for us, guess what? There's always going to be more. We cannot measure the love of God. You know what that makes me want to sing? Jesus loves me, this I know. I know you saw it coming. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones, if you and me, to him belong. We are weak while he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Isn't it amazing how much God loves us? We can't even measure it. All right, well, that's about it for today, y'all. That was our second lesson on God's love. And I hope that you tune in next week so we can learn one more thing about how much God loves us, all right? Now let's pray out. God, I thank you so much that you taught us today how it doesn't matter how many things we put in the bowl, you always have more love for us. We cannot fathom, we cannot measure how much you love us, God, and we are so grateful. So God, today we come to you with hearts of gratitude because true love isn't even how much we love you. That's what the Bible says. It's how you love us, God. And so we're just so grateful. And so we say, thank you, God. We say, thank you, God. We say, thank you, God. Thank you for loving us. We pray all of these things in Jesus' name. And all the Lord's people said, Amen. Amen. Well, until I see you again, don't forget, there is absolutely no way that you can measure God's love for you. Until next time, bye. Hmm, that's a good cupcake.